Welcome. Welcome to the warehouse. It's where all the magic happens, yeah. How many pairs of shoes are in the warehouse right now? In this one, 35. Turnover rate? Pretty fast. Like, we sell that many a month, so. I mean, especially December, like, we'll probably turn over a couple times. Mm. Hopefully. Hopefully. God bless. God willing. Pray for good holidays. How many um, employees, warehouse staff? Uh, usually six today? here. Some good shoes here, to be honest. Bro, if you're looking for personals right now, this is the shoe for you, not the size. What is that, Pokemon? Bro, they got what some the weird ass croc colorways. People have been sending in crocs like crazy. Batman croc. I really I see crocs come with the shoe boxes. They do. So here's a little uh, trick. If it's the green boxes and they come box damaged, you can actually send them into apps. Most of the time, you can send them into apps without the box, mm. and it's good. So you can get around damaged box for green box crocs. Okay. Special box, not so much. What are the Pokemon? What the fuck? <laughs> So what are the top sellers right now? The Kobe's were hot this last week because it was a new release. So I basically like how it usually works is that there's like week by week best sellers, which is usually like whatever release the week before obviously is coming out. And then it's the consistent ones. Like Sambas are always good. A lot of like Campus are always good. Gazelles are always good. Uh, Dunks, you know what I mean? 9060, Castle Rock, stuff like that. Uh, so it's a mix between the newer stuff and then it's just stuff that's always good. What's your prediction for the holidays? Uggs, if you know, you know, bro. There's probably like four or five thousand pairs of Uggs that we have right now that we're just kind of sitting on waiting. Oh yeah, a lot of Uggs. 5955 CHE. Maya probably need a pair of Uggs. Hey. So yes. how do you guys deal with those Bro, damaged box? Um, we're going to be repairing them soon. Repair right now, as like swap fix box. them up. Oh, oh. Broken, the what heck? the heck? No. What the heck, bro? Should I tell you? You would never wear them. I'd never wear them. Yeah. <laughs> One percent chance, ninety-nine percent faith. I fell in love with a puffy. Does sneaker reselling actually make money? <clears throat> uh, most sneaker resellers don't make money, but they buy a lot of shoes. They sell a lot of shoes, so if they feel like they make a lot of money. This is actually something I'm passionate about, Gary. There's uh -huh. a lot of sneaker resellers uh -huh. who think they make money. Because they don't track depreciation, yeah. yes, or they don't they don't track um like their inventory value. Oh yeah. Okay. So they have like fucking a hundred thousand dollars of inventory that they their cost a hundred thousand, right? Uh -huh. Market value now is seventy k, but they haven't sold it, and Still so they, think it's 100K. they yes, and so they'll make they'll make like five k profit on the the inventory that they sell uh -huh. for that month, uh -huh. but they don't understand the market went down on the other hundred k and they lost thirty k. They netted negative. 25k and they think they made 5k so they spend the 5k because they think they made 5k even though they lost 25k to be honest that's resellers most uh buy sell trade stores and why is there so, still so many sneaker resellers when they're not making money they still got to pay their rent there's very few who are actually making money at least right now uh -huh. i think a lot of them they made their money something else uh -huh. they put it into shoes uh -huh. and they've since been losing money uh -huh. but they don't even realize oh no pretty sad right yeah, best to quit sneaker reselling, yeah? No. No, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Best to just clean up your business. It's actually, if you know your numbers and you know like when to liquidate, because that's like the main thing. Mm. Um, if you know your numbers and you can actually like track things properly, then you can. All right, this is new. This just got pushed out this morning, actually. Um, so now for auto pricing, all people have to do, they click auto pricing, they can choose whether they want to match the lowest ask or undercut by a dollar, and they input their minimum payout. So let's say they want a minimum of $100 payout, right? It'll automatically match the lowest ask and auto price for all sales channels, down to $100 payout for all sales channels based on their fees, and then it'll stop. Okay. It's pretty sick, right? Um, so this one is matched, so it'll automatically match the lowest, so 130 130 and then it'll auto price down to whatever $100 payout is. Mm. Or whatever that number is. I'm gonna tap in. You gotta tap in, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna tap you in. You gotta tap in. Okay. How many users does k have right now? Uh, bigger sellers that are like pushing volume, I'd say like 120. Oh, damn. Yeah. Like, what's the number of pushing value? Our biggest is like, he's probably doing like four or 500k a month. Damn. Yeah, he's tough. Damn. What does he do, just sourcing? He buys, he's like the goat of in-store, the goat. The goat. The goat. Is he based in the U.S. or overseas? Yeah, based in the U.S. Oh, damn. Yeah, based in the U.S. He's got guys, loopers, just in every city. 
They buy shoes from him, they ship it to us, and then he sells it. He hires loopers. He yeah. doesn't even do the loop. He does also. He does also. He's got like, yeah, this guy's tough. Dang. You'll see him at your local Foot Locker. All right, warehouse tour. Pretty standard. These are uh, still pretty empty. We gotta fill up the rest of it. It's like halfway full. Some sneakers. What is this area? Intake, QC, outbound. QC. So these pairs over here are all inbound. These are inbound? Yep. So the package is waiting to get checked in. This warehouse is pretty, pretty uh, it's pretty slow right now because we just started sending pairs here. A lot of the, where the packages are still coming to the other one and then we'll just, um, we'll move them over. We'll transfer over. Inbound, we're probably getting like, thousand a day right now maybe in this, um, warehouse. in this warehouse probably like five six hundred maybe and the other one maybe a thousand yeah the, the other warehouse it's like there's like a box and then there's another box and then another box right this one is just box you know what i'm saying it's a lot cleaner it's a lot smoother so basically uh shoes will come in right unbox qc everything's good you scan tracking number beep with a scanner Right, if the tracking number has been added to the portal, it automatically pulls up their account. If not, they look for the user ID, pull up their account, and they're just scanning barcodes. Beep, 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 beep. Plus the one IDs. So basically, one ID is just like unique to each shoe in the warehouse. So every box has one of these tags on it, so we know where it is, who owns it, yeah. like all the information. You know on it's yours. It's unique. Anyone, yeah. yeah. Yep. So every shelf has a location tag here. And so it's same thing, it's beep. And then you scan all the shoes you put on the shelf, beep, 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 beep. And then at the end, you scan this again. And then it asks you to put in the number of shoes on the shelf to double check it. And so it, uh, then it gets put in the shelf. Was this system created by you guys or did you guys take inspiration? And this is how most yeah. warehouses operate. It's good. Yeah.